Imagine breathing new life into old footage, creating mind-bending special effects, and designing 3D worlds from a single picture. Sounds like magic? It's not, it's the power of AI. Today, we're unlocking the secrets behind tools like Spar 3D, TransPixar, and a meta AI feature that's like Photoshop on steroids, but also generates videos in seconds. Get ready to unleash your creativity like never before. Stick around till the end. Let's start by exploring the futuristic landscape of AI advancements with a tour through the realm of AI upscaling. In AI right now, upscaling has taken the AI stage by storm, and a case in point is Tencent's recently announced stable video face restoration tool. That program just took your old bad quality videos of the faces and magically made them good. It's a video upscaler for AI with a particular eye to saturating the faces. It's not a generic approach, it's precisely calibrated for human faces, and the end results are incredible. Take, for instance, the examples provided. In one case, we have a super blurry, low-pixel image of the legendary Albert Einstein. There's hardly anything to go on in the original input, yet the tool manages to recreate his face remarkably well. It picks out incredibly subtle details, like that little bit of extra skin under his chin, and faithfully converts it. Sure, there's a tiny bit of shimmering in the higher details, but overall it's incredibly impressive. The colorization is spot on too, making it look like a genuinely authentic Albert Einstein. Now let's look at another example, this one a bit more challenging. This video clip has a lot more movement, with the subject showing a wider range of dynamic facial expressions. Even with all that action, the tool does a pretty decent job. The hair in particular looks shockingly good. But again, we see some shimmering in the finer details. Take the eye color, for example. The AI really tries its best to recreate it accurately, but even in the original, it's hard to pin down the exact shade. The color seems to shift between brown and blue in the recreation, and the pupils change size a bit. The reflections in the eyes aren't quite perfect, and that's something that really needs to stay consistent. People tend to focus on the eyes when someone's talking, so getting that right is crucial. Interestingly, the blurrier the original video, the more impressive the output seems to be. There's one example where the results are just incredible. The original has a ton of compression going on in the face, but the model is smart enough to recognize that those are compression artifacts and shouldn't be carried over into the upscale. That's seriously impressive to me. It also helps that this particular image has higher contrast, which makes it a bit easier for the model to be more forgiving. What's even better is that this tool is open source, which is fantastic news. It's the kind of model you'd expect to see on platforms like Pinocchio, which is a one-click installer for local AI. This means it's accessible to a wider range of users, democratizing these advanced AI capabilities. Now let's shift gears and talk about something truly mind-blowing. SPAR 3D, or Stable Point Aware Reconstruction of 3D Objects. This is the brainchild of Stability AI, the same team that brought us Stable Diffusion. SPAR 3D is an absolute game changer. It takes a single image and, in real time, generates a 3D object from it. And that's not even the best part. You can also instantly edit and manipulate this 3D object. Think about duplicating it, stretching it, adding new features, or recoloring specific parts, all in the blink of an eye. It's an insanely fast and powerful tool. The speed at which it operates is mind-boggling. It converts edited point clouds into final meshes in a mere 0.3 seconds, allowing for seamless, real-time editing. And from just one input image, it generates highly detailed 3D meshes in only 0.7 seconds per object. Here's how it works under the hood. The architecture has two main stages. In the first stage, your input image is decoded and then fed into a specialized point diffusion model. This model is used to create a point cloud that captures the object's fundamental structure, kind of like a blueprint. In the second stage, a triplane transformer processes this point cloud data along with the original image to generate the 3D data. This includes all the intricate details like geometry, texture, and illumination. The potential applications for this are vast and varied. We're talking product design, game design, virtual and augmented reality, animation, you name it. And because it's so incredibly fast, generating a 3D model in under a second, it allows for real-time editing, making modeling workflows lightning fast. The good news is that they've already released the model weights on Hugging Face, and there's a GitHub repo with all the instructions you need to install and run it locally on your computer. If you don't want to go through the hassle of local installation, they also have a free Hugging Face space where you can run it online. It's super straightforward to use. Just upload an image, tweak some settings if you want, and hit run. As an example, I uploaded an image of a Blue Jay, and in just a few seconds it created a point cloud of the bird, 
as well as a 3D model, blazing fast. All right, let's move on to another fascinating feature, this time from Meta AI's chat, which uses Llama models. They've got something in there that you won't find in ChatGPT, actual image editing capabilities. For example, I uploaded an image and simply said, give him a top hat. And just like that, it essentially photoshopped a top hat right onto the image, placing it perfectly on my little lemon guy. It looks surprisingly good. Then I asked it to give him a cane and boom, it generated one right next to him, though it did delete a leaf in the process. You can do all this right inside the chat or you can click the edit button to enter a specific editing UI. I tried another edit, asking it to make the hat purple and give him red glasses. And it handled that with ease. Now, if you were to ask ChatGPT to do something like this, it would try its best, but it wouldn't be able to take your original image and edit it Photoshop style. That's something that the ChatGPT models and even the Google models are technically capable of, but they don't give the public access to it just yet. But Meta AI, they've got it, and it's completely free on their chatbot right now. If this sounds interesting to you, I highly recommend giving it a try. It's a ton of fun, and again, it won't cost you a dime. It's essentially like having a mini Photoshop style editor that's completely free and you control it just by talking to the model in natural language. But it's not just an editor. Within Meta AI, you can also generate high quality images in a matter of seconds. For example, as you can see here, it has generated four stunning and realistic images based on my prompt. And the best part is it's giving you an animate option for all four of these images. Let's click it and see what it does. Wow, see that? It just generated four amazing videos from these four images, and these videos really do look good. The impressive thing is that it only took two to three seconds to generate all four videos. Other video generation tools take significantly longer than that to produce similar results. By the way, Meta has a bunch of other cool demos too. They've got one for translation, a quick video generator, and another one for AI-generated music. I wasn't sure if you guys knew about these, but these AI demo areas for Meta, Google, and others are often updated quietly. We don't even know they're updated until we check their website. Want access to the absolute best AI models out there without the hassle of juggling multiple platforms? Let me introduce you to Chat LLM by Abacus AI, your all-in-one AI powerhouse. This incredible tool puts the latest and greatest models like O1, O1 Mini, GPT-40, and Claude 3.5 Sonnet right at your fingertips. Plus, it's got some seriously smart features. Root LLM automatically picks the best model for your prompt, and Search LLM scours the web for the most up-to-date info. Need your AI to sound less robotic? The Humanize feature lets you adjust the tone. And get this, you can generate stunning images using top-tier generators like Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra, Ideagram, and Recraft. You can even create videos with just a prompt using powerful video models like Kling, Luma, Runway, and Hiluo. Coders, you'll love the artifacts feature for seamless app building. Plus, creating documents and analyzing PDFs is a breeze. For the ultimate customization, the AI engineer lets you build your own fine-tuned chatbots. And the best part? The monthly subscription cost is only $10. It's all here, ready to experience the future of AI in one platform. Sign up using the link below for your first month's free. Now let's talk about another crazy tool called TransPixar. This one can generate videos from text descriptions, but it has a special trick up its sleeve. It can create transparent elements. This is incredibly useful for special effects and animations because you can overlay these videos onto existing footage as a separate layer. Generating videos with transparency is quite tricky. Transparent elements need something called an alpha channel, which basically determines how transparent each pixel is in the video. The problem is that most video generators out there, like Sora or Kling, don't produce alpha channels. Plus, the datasets used to train these models mostly don't contain videos with alpha channels or transparent videos. To tackle this, TransPixar introduced a new architecture. It still uses a diffusion transformer, like all the other image and video generators, but it adds a special component for the alpha channel. This allows it to produce videos with transparency. They have some really cool demos to show it off. For example, there's one of a white dandelion shifting as if seen through a large magnifying glass. Another shows a forest floor being consumed by spreading magical fire. There's also one with a motorcycle drifting and swerving through an enchanted forest, though the quality on that one isn't quite up to par with some of the state-of-the-art video generators I've talked about before. They've got a few more impressive examples. One shows a massive storm forming with swirling clouds and thunderbolts. You can easily see how you could overlay that on a video to create a realistic thunderstorm effect. Another one shows a woman with long black hair streaming behind her as she runs. Even with something as fine and detailed as hair, 
It does a fantastic job. There's also a portal crackling with arcane magic as it opens, which looks pretty convincing and could be used as a cool overlay for a video. And then there's water splattering in midair, which could be a really useful effect for something like a Coca-Cola commercial. Not only can it generate videos from text prompts, but you can also input an image and it will generate a transparent video from that. For instance, if you input an image of a dragon, you get a transparent video of the dragon in motion. If you input an image of a burning door, you get a video of the door on fire. And if you input an image of a spaceship, you get a video of the spaceship flying, though for some reason it's flying backward in the demo. Then there's an image of a humanoid robot, which also turns into a pretty cool transparent video. If you scroll up to the top of their page, they have a GitHub repo with all the code and instructions on how to download and run it locally. But if you don't have a powerful enough GPU, you can also run it online using their Hugging Face demo. All the links are right there, and I'll also put a link to the main page in the description below so you can read more about it. But you know what? Forget about TransPixar for a second because the next tool is even better. The problem with TransPixar is that, yes, it can create these transparent videos, but if you overlay them on top of an existing video, they often look really out of place. That's because the brightness, white balance, or contrast might not be quite right. They don't align with the background video, so it's not really the best solution, to be honest. Now, instead of creating these separate transparent elements, what if you could just add any object or effect directly onto an existing video? That brings us to this incredibly cool AI called Video Any Door. This AI lets you insert or replace objects in a video with mind-blowing accuracy. Let me show you some examples. Let's say you have a background video and you want to add a butterfly to it. All you need to do is upload an image of the butterfly, plug it into this AI, and here's the result. A video with the butterfly seamlessly integrated. How insane is that? Here's another example. Let's say you want to insert a cat into a video of a woman walking in the snow. You just input an image of the cat, and here's the final result. The cat fits right in, as if it were always there. What's really impressive is that the colors of the input image are a lot warmer, while the video has much cooler tones. But in the final result, the AI perfectly aligns the colors of the cat to match the background video. Here's another one. If you want to add a clownfish to a video of a coral reef, you just plug it in, and here's your result. The fish blends in so seamlessly with the existing video that if I just saw the output, I'd have no idea the yellow fish was added with AI. Or what about adding a seagull to a video of the ocean? Here's the result. Notice how the original image is much brighter and the colors are a bit warmer, but the AI automatically adjusts the brightness, contrast, and white balance of the seagull to match the background. Here's another really cool example. Let's say you want to add an image of an SUV to a video. Here's what you get. The colors are perfectly aligned with the background. This opens up a world of possibilities. You can use this tool for virtual try-ons. Imagine having a video of a model and wanting to see her in different clothes. You can just use this AI to swap her outfit. Here's another example of a video clothes swap. Really impressive stuff. And notice how the AI knows to only swap out her shirt, keeping everything else consistent, like her hands, the bag she's holding, her pants, and her shoes. Because this AI is so versatile, you can basically add or replace anything in a video. You can even use it for face swaps. For example, if you input an image of Taylor Swift and a video of someone else, it will swap out the person's face for Taylor's. For the most part, it's pretty consistent, though it can get a bit uncanny at times. And if you want to turn that same woman into Elon Musk, just plug in a photo of him, and there you go. Here's another cool use case. Since you can add anything to a video, you can also add logos to someone's shirt. Here's an example of that. Pretty neat, right? Or how about adding a logo to a car? Just plug it into the AI, and it handles it consistently. Here's another example of adding an Apple logo to a car. If you scroll up to the top of their page, it says the code is coming soon. So it looks like they're planning to open source this, which is awesome. I'll link to this page in the description below so you can read more about it. Next up, we have Star AI, developed by ByteDance, the company that owns TikTok. This one doesn't just focus on faces, it tackles the entire image. We're talking full-on upscaling here. Now, it's not like this is the first AI-based video upscaling tool. There are definitely others out there. But this one, you guessed it, is open source which is a huge plus. We love to see it. Obviously, we're not going to see the same intense focus on perfectly recreating human faces like we saw in the earlier example, but it's still pretty darn good. You can see in one example that an original sign looks significantly better on the high definition side. But if we pause at certain frames, we can see that the sign gets a little bit of that AI jumble as the AI tries to guess what the sign is supposed to say. After a few moments though, it stabilizes pretty well. There's also an example of a face that again, 
isn't absolutely perfect in the upscale. But remember, this thing is free and open source, so we can't really complain. Interestingly, when it's used on people who were likely in the training data, it does a really, really good job. It takes footage that's been totally wrecked. I mean, look at their faces. Someone call a dermatologist. And the upscaler brings it back to almost YouTube live stream quality, as if we were actually watching the debates live. It's pretty amazing. Even the logos and text at the bottom look good, though the American flags don't look quite right. They look more like flags in the original. At some point, there's just so little data to work with that an upscaling job like this just isn't going to be able to turn that back into a perfect American flag. Now, when we move on to non-human subjects, I have to say it does a much better job. We humans know what a person is supposed to look like, and it's easy for us to tell when something's off. But a plane, for example, look at how low quality that original footage is and how much better it looks after the upscale. You can actually see where all the pieces of metal are riveted together. The reflections are still coming off the propellers, and the propellers themselves look great. It even gets that shutter speed motion blur on the propellers correct, which is super important to preserve when upscaling video. Here's another pretty insane example where it's actually able to tell that something is supposed to be a statue and not a real person. I mean, in the original, at first glance, it's kind of hard to tell, especially if you're just starting to watch the video, you might think it's a person. But once it's upscaled, it's crystal clear that it's a statue at a theme park or something. This is a pretty tough test too. It's got all these things hanging off it, some rocks, some plants. It did mess up a bit though. It's easy for us to see that one part is supposed to be a hand, but once it's upscaled, it kind of turns into a little face. It's hallucinating a bit there. We've also got some food footage here, which is vastly improved by the upscaler. It does a really great job, especially with the little highlights, those little speckles of reflection on the food. Anyway, the list goes on. This one star AI also has a completely free demo on Hugging Face that you can check out. I'll link it down below but it's really cool. I love seeing AI being used to bring older, lower quality content back to life. These AI innovations are truly pushing the boundaries of what's possible in video and image processing. From upscaling and generating 3D objects to creating transparent videos and seamlessly inserting objects, these tools are opening up incredible new creative avenues and making workflows faster and more efficient across a wide range of industries. As these technologies continue to evolve and become more accessible, we can expect even more groundbreaking developments in the near future. It's an exciting time to be witnessing the evolution of AI.